How many have heard of CSI, Crime Seed Investigation? Today we're going to talk about cow side investigation. First session today is making sense of cow senses. There are five senses that we are going to cover today in our CSI session. The first one is vision. We look at vision. Cows see much more than us and take in a large amount of information. We know that the cows have a, a blind spot here and this is very important we talk about the milking routine. The cows do need more time to take in all the information they are so we have to allow those cows to uh, give them time to make their steps and changes. Don't move cows too fast. Uh, example coming in and out of the parlor especially going out of the parlor with foot baths. Cows do not have good color vision so cows uh, are designed to look down so let's let the cows move at their own pace. Don't push the cows and cause them to lift up their heads. So vision is very important to cows. As we hear here, hearing is very important. Cows can hear up to eight times better than humans. Always talk quietly in low tones. Don't have the volume turned up as we heard in this video or see these people using sticks and banging to make a lot of loud noises and whistles to move cows because cows hear so much better than we do. Cows also we talk about taste. Cows have three, two to three times more taste buds than humans. And this helps uh, the cows avoid eating bitter or toxic plants. So if we're going to add some type of zinc or some trace mineral sort, make sure we some, add some sweeteners to help mask some of those tastes. And speaking of smelling, cows also uh, can smell up to five miles away. They're very sensitive to smell. So if you look at this picture here, we said we don't, cows do not like smoke. Uh, so if I have employees, we try to make sure that they do not smoke around the cows. When I'm called to a dairy, to do testing for air movements, I use the bubble machine as we've seen here in this video. Uh, cows, like we say, don't like smoke. Smoke is an excellent way to test uh, the air movement through buildings. But I found out that using my grandchildren's uh, bubble machines works a lot better. And cows are not afraid of the bubbles. In fact, they're curious for bubbles. <laughs> see and hear here. Making loud sounds and, and banging them uh, affects cows coming in and out of the parlor. When we do that we affect the smell uh, because cows will secrete a danger th through their urine and cows can smell this so it affects not only the cows in the parlor but the cows coming out of the parlor. So make sure uh, that we, when we load, load the parlor that we load it the cows come in on their own and do it in a quiet quiet manner as we see in this video here. And it's, again, the cows are coming on their own. What's the other, what's the milking technician doing? He's spending his time prepping the cows, which he should be, making our parlor more efficient. Touch, cows are very sensitive to touch. They say they feel pain and the uh, same thing as we do. So do uh, let the cows come in on their own. Don't poke them or hit them as we see in this video. This must stop now. We do not want to poke the cows because we affect the milk ability and we create more adrenaline instead of the oxytocin that we want to do when we're coming into milk the cows. As you see this video, again, let the cows come in on their own. Use the cow moving gate to let the cows come in and it makes it improves parlor efficiency as we see here. So as a stocks person, know that cows are incredibly intelligent, but they view the world differently than we do. Always treat cows with respect and handle them in a calm, consistent manner always do what's best for the cow. Thank you.